Hey guys, and welcome back to Prey, and I'm pretty sure this may just be the final video. Anyway, oh yeah, I was about to say, that's weird, she's dead. But no, we tased her, didn't we? Of course, we can, oh, we can carry her about. Kim here. Yeah, sorry we killed daddy. It's a shame we can't feed her into the recycler. That would be quite funny. Where can we take her? Where's someone that looks really uncomfortable? There we go, that'll do. Wow, that is, uh, yep, that looks pretty uncomfortable. Um, right. Her fault for getting in the way, to be fair. Let's go. So, what is on the to-do list? Ah, we had to go meet Alex, didn't we? Could use a little bit of health. I suppose we could go to the med bay, but there really is not much point. Um... We've got enough health and shizzle on us. So, let's ride. Oh, hello. Morgan. We're in life support now. Cool. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. Yeah, well, funny thing about him, he's kind of our pilot back home. So, sorry. I can actually use a little bit of armor, to be honest. Uh, we did put down a hard save at the end of the last video, didn't we? Because I do want to try and get uh, all the endings. Yeah, we know about the weapon upgrade kits game. Funny enough, my good dude, we have completely upgraded all of our weapons. So, yeah. We know about upgrading our weapons. In fact, maybe we'll actually get some use out of the Q-beam now. You know what, let's switch up to the Q-beam. Let's go high-tech. We need to give it a good test on uh, some of these other enemies. And to be fair, uh, we do have an awful lot of ammo for it. Do we even have... There we go. Man, this place is fucked up. Oh, Jesus. Hello. I was not expecting one of you, to be honest. Um, I was really not expecting one of you. So even with all of our hyped up powerful weapons, we can't actually kill one of these in one hit. Ooh. We need to scan it some. Um. Is this thing being a little bit simple? I guess it was. That's rather satisfying. They take like a whole reload. And then some. Damn. They're fairly tough. What have we got left? Yeah, we've got loads of ammo for this anyway. Doesn't really matter. Oh. Hmm. Q-beam is certainly an interesting weapon. I'm not sure how much I honestly do like it. Hey! Oh, you're a science. It should be above peak level, because I've uh, upgraded my brain. Quite significantly upgraded my brain, actually. And it was fun to significantly upgrade my brain. I wish I could do that in uh, real life. Get some more brain power in the old head meat. God damn it. Come on. That looks like there could be stuff up there. Is there stuff up there? Holy shit! Yes, there is. Huh. How the fuck did they get a recycler charge? And some 9mm bullets. Well, it wasn't anything amazing. It was lo Whoa, lovely view, too. Huh. This is a really cool area. 
very unfinished uh, area, I guess, but uh, cool nonetheless. Be you. Where's the engineer? Where's the engineer? Hey, 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 hey! Come here, you. Come here. Patch me up. Patch me up. Yep. Thank. You. Cheers, boss. Right now, I'm assuming Mr. Alex is up here. No? Where's Alex? Oh, hello. That was nice. Um, okay, so where are we going to find Alex then? Oh yeah, we've done that. Alex is ready. Yeah. Where is he? Kirk we can forget about. Can we escape with the escape pod key? Let's just have a little bit of a fiddle. This is very... Oh! He's down there. Somehow must have missed him. Right, let's save like so. Can we just say, fuck this? Hmm, no, I guess we can't. Terraforming Mars. Very nice. Uh, can't go through there. I thought at one point we had the option to go in there. In the actual shuttle. Where are you? Oh. Nope. Where are you? What is this? Ah, you bastard. You were here the whole time. I promised you my arming cake. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos 1 to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message and who is listening to it I think you know ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods you've known this fabrication plan is for the no wave device prototype you can see it will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once nice take it and the army key I got pro What? Morgan! Oh. Why? Hello there. Uh, things just got a little bit more complicated, buddy. Whoa. Okay. Um. What the actual fuck is that? Tendril? Yeah, you can get the fuck away from me, buddy. Um, Self-destruct key. Uh, excuse me. Can you fuck off? I'm trying to loot my brother. 
Right. Um, Alex, come here a minute, buddy. Come here, come here. Can I drag you back down? Right, let's go back into the safe room. Use voice lock to shut safe room door. Use voice lock. Yeah, we've done that. Have we not? Right, come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. Let's get you down here. Right, well, you actually had quite a nice little area here. I'll give you that. I will take your drink, your fried hard drives, your burnt circuitry, your medkit. Man, you should have cleaned this up a little bit, though. Whoa. And you got enough supplies to last a little while. Take your gun. An account of Fermi's questions. Oh, yeah. I've already read that. Okay, so did he have a transcribe on him? This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. Shit. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain, we could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now. I don't... Oh. Well, so I believe we've saved Alex now anyway. Uh huh. Save Alex. Use voice lock to shut safe room door. I assume we have to do that from the outside. I assume. Yeah, use voice. Talk. Okay, cool. So now we can't. Right, 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 right. Okay. So look at this motherfucker. Yeah. Hi, right, buddy. Uh, yeah, well, before you do that, uh, you might want to have a little bit of a think about what's going on outside. I want to scan these. I want to learn what we're going to get from scanning all these bloody things. That's twice. Come on, if we can get one more. There we go. No, I'm not sure. What was that that we unlocked? Right, let's just get out of here. Let's ride. Reactor console. God damn it. Why, why are we in zero G? I hate zero G. Alex's digs. Can we have some gravity, please? I would really appreciate some gravity. In fact, I would appreciate a whole hell of a lot of gravity right about now. Right. Oh, shit. I guess we're going back to the lobby. That makes sense. Well, hopefully... Oh, yeah. All of our turrets are just going to fly. 
Oh, hello. Yeah, we really need to do something about that, really, don't we? Like, really need to do something about that. Before it kills us all. Preferably. If we can help it. So I wonder what everyone else is going to think about this big thing. This massive uh, space whale. Demonic space whale. Orbiting the station. But wait, there's more. What if this is uh, not the big thing that they're trying to contact? You anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Yes. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Yeah. Of it's a risk. But we've seen the generator work to destroy all this, to murder a species. And the research lost. It's January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Well, we're going to do both. Um, one second, guys. We are going to do... What would I do in this situation? I think... Mm-hmm. I think I would... Probably try the null wave. I don't care about destroying the species, and I don't care about preserving, preserving the research. But I'm not sure if blowing up the facility would legitimately stop them. Uh, objectives. Right, let's go back to our lobby. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're we're quite lucky here. We can we have two choices. But uh, in real life, you'd only have one shot. I don't know. It would be a very difficult decision to make. I think. Oh man, things are getting a little bit out of control. I definitely want to know more about the uh, Typhon ecosystem. Oh boy, this is uh, really, really, really cool. Alright, Alex, let's do this. That's fab. Hello, you feel a bit better after you sleep? You should do. No wave. There we go. Good thing we've got the ingredients. Right, well. The heart of Carl is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire Carl network with our own signal. Use your psychoscope to locate the exact spot. All right. We don't have much time, Morgan. We have plenty of time. We will make the time. Heart of the Coral. Let's go. Well, if this doesn't work, <sighs> bad things are going to happen to all of us. But that is a chance I'm willing to make. Doesn't look like there's a lot of um, Typhons about, though, which is quite interesting. I'm not complaining. Those things are quite... Are quite dickish, to be honest. Quite nice to have a little bit of a walk around without them. Oh, I'm getting tired. Oh dear. Well, let's go.
Yeah, well. We're soon going to find out about that, aren't we? Oh boy. Right, 22. Oh god. What? 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 We died? I'm not quite sure how we died. But I'm sure it was uh, fair and understandable. Okay. Yeah. Well, you gotta take a risk once in a while, and that is precisely what we are going to do. Shit! Shutting my bloody weapon down. Oh fuck's sake! Okay, that is a really crap weapon. Yeah, kind of useless against these things. Oh boy. Well, we're not going that way. Can we not just... Uh, reactor console. Oh, so that's just literally like an enemy in there. Okay. Well, we're not going to worry about it. So how do we get above? Is there a way to get above? Uh, I mean, I guess there must be. Because that's going down. Now you can fuck off, Paul, guys. Seriously. Ah, here we go. It's not the reactor console I want to get to. Um, I can hear one of you fuckers. Just can't really see you. Okay, let's get back up here. Uh, so that yeah, there we go, going up. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, this is where they were originally making the thing. Oh God, so this oh hello, so this certainly does make sense. Nice. Right, come here, you weaving bastard. There we go. I guess this thing's strength is its range as well. Really long range. Um, I don't think we've got an engineer around. Okay. This is going to get delicate. There's the heart of the coral. It certainly looks like the heart of the coral as well. I guess we're going to... Yeah, well, you can go fuck off. Live exam. No, we need to keep going. God damn it. Where do we get... Ah. Ah. Okay. We got this. We got this. Come on, you fuckers. Come burn. It's about time you get off my station. Reactor console. Here we go. Oh boy. Save. God damn it. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. We're about to find out. Oh, man. Do we have to scan it? The heart of the coral. Ooh, dear. Deploy the null wave. Let's do it. Oh, boy. 
There looks like there's a lot of them. Um, are you sure? Well, I think you're worrying too much. Let's all just sit down and have a nice cup of coffee. And uh, we can talk about this once I've pushed the button. Okay. Are you cool with that? Well, barely fills that. We're not going to worry about such uh, things. We're just going to push the button and stick our head in the sand. Pretend like nothing happened. Thing is, if we blow the station up, how's that going to stop more Typhon arriving? I mean, as we know, as we well know, I should say, um... They can transport themselves in and out of reality at will, almost. So, hmm. This is going to be interesting. It's certainly seeming like blowing up the station is the right thing to do. But it just doesn't seem very logical to me. Depending on how big this uh, no wave transmitter signal is, which I assume would have to be pretty big. I assume that's going to be the blood in the water, so to speak. Going to be the flare going off that uh, will get all these alien predators' jimmies ruffled. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um. Let's go. Good thing this still works. More or less. Look, can you fuck off, please? Seriously. To the bridge. Well, if nothing else, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when we flick the shit switch. Oh, boy. Is it going to kill us? Because that would be a little bit awkward. Yep. Um, forward momentum, please. Okay, I used to do it like every other time, but now it's doing it all the time we get out of the elevator. Kind of annoying. Okay, hold on to your ass, guys. Hold on to your asses. I have a feeling something rather terrible is about to happen. Yeah. Well, at least I'll be with my brother. Oh. Swinging down some fine gin. Or some bourbon. Oh, dear. Um, oh, yeah. Bloody microgravity. Forgot about that. God damn it. Well, at least we can get around quite quickly, I suppose. Alright. Oh, dear. Not good. Forward momentum needed. Damn those bloody grabbers. So I guess this kind of means that we're not going to get any kind of um, boss fight then. Which... I don't know, was I expecting one? I'm not really sure now. Yeah, I guess. I guess I was. Hmm. Can't actually believe we're at the end of this game. It's felt like we've been playing it for ages, and technically we have. Gordon, 
patient. Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I've informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine. Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Alright. Sure. What the hell have you done? I'm me? Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Elaborate. The plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. Mm -hmm. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Ooh. Fine. I'll do it myself. Well. Oh, man. I don't want to kill January. I killed January. I wonder what that gives us. Oh, use Alex escape pod to leave Talus. Oh, it was inside January. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Uh, you know what, guys? Fuck this. You can sort your own shit. I'm out of here. See ya. We did, yeah, we've, we've got plenty of saves. Fuck this, guys. I'm out. I hope no one's mad at this decision. But then I suppose, you know, to be honest, I don't really care anymore. I just want to get off the station with all my bits. Certainly don't need to be getting probed by no uh, pokey alien. <sighs> tis, a, tis a shame that we had to destroy a, a little bit of ourselves back there, but, uh, you know. Oh, dear. Going up. Ah, uh, I can't wait to be free of this station. Out there amongst the beautiful black. Although, uh, it does look a little bit sad out there, to be honest. You know, uh, things are not quite as rosy as they could have been. Let's get out of here. Fuck this, I want to go home. Initialize the launch. God damn it. Do I have to? All right. There we go. You guys can argue about it yourselves. I don't understand how you got the launch key to that escape pod. Of all the ways the test could have changed you, this was the last one I expected. You're just quitting. Yep. See ya. Bye. Good luck. Uh, good luck for the future, Alex, and everybody else aboard. I think you will need it. I'm just saying. I really think you're going to need it. Are we being controlled? Is this like a memory that we're reliving? Huh. Interesting. Well. I guess that's kind of a shitty ending. But I suppose it's more of a joke, quitty type ending than anything else. 
Right, let's go. Let's go flick the shit switch. Oh, God. That was my brain. There we are. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must... Alright, brother. Oh, I wasn't really gonna... Really gonna leave you like that. Honestly. I tried, but the game said no. God damn it. Never mind. Alright, I'm back, Alex. Plan B. Let's set the universe on fire, shall we? I don't know if you've seen, but there is alien matter ripping through the hull. You have to move. Bosh, boy. Every window on this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. Well, um, yes. Yes, I'm very aware. Um... Oh boy, let's see. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Oh, it literally evaporates it. What is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future today. More importantly, our past today. Hmm. This is the work Transtar does. Every employee working together. It's immortality. And it is beautiful. Yeah. It worked. Apparently. Um really? That was it? Well, I mean, obviously, we're going to go get the other ending. Um, but that was still a pretty fucking good game. I really enjoyed it. I'm really hoping. <laughs> That there's more substance to the other ending. Because that was... Well, that was about as shallow as it gets. Like, proper shallow? I mean, you basically vaporize... Ooh. Hello. See that on the right there. It looks like there are still a few of these bastards around. Unless there's something after the credits, maybe. But, um... Yeah. Oh. Something's happening. Well. I guess the Typhon had other ideas. I assume they've come back. And in greater numbers. See, the null wave transmitter is a good idea. However, you need to kind of build in some sort of safety, um, automated safety system. Oh dear. Just going to let those massive null wave transmitters off in the event of these things coming back. Well... I, mean, I don't know if this is just like a cool little uh, credit scene or if this is the fate of what awaits these guys. There's a big one. There's a nightmare. Their animation is a little bit janky. Hmm. So, what I'm taking away from this is if we go, uh, choose that route we have bad time. Thing is though, even if we blow up the station, my my understanding is the Typhon is still coming. You have to destroy every single one of them. Which is basically impossible. You know.
Definitely enjoyed that game. Can we skip the credits? As good as the music is, and it is good, we will leave the credits roll when we get the other ending. Hmm. Intriguing. Um, it's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy what? quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming. And nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. The fuck is this? Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. It let him go. Was that mercy? Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. Hmm, this is in really interesting. Bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... Is the world today. Whoa. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. Damn. We shake things up like old times. Ha! Huh. So you were a Typhon all this time? Going through some kind of dream therapy? What the fuck? That was pretty damn cool. What happened to Alec? Ah. A Morgan, I should say. I'm guessing Morgan, uh, right at the beginning then, she died? Well, no, she couldn't have done because... She went all the way through that. That's how it was seeing her memories. 
Holy shit. Alright, well, all right, let's load and... Um, uh, let's... Where would be the best place to do this from? Probably... Back here, I guess. Or there, I guess. Yeah, confirm. So, yeah, let's try the other... The other ending. We blow the core. This is going to be one of those games where I'm going to have to go away and think about it quite a lot. Huh. Right, yeah, well, we ain't blowing that. Let's go. So my biggest concern is more can you? I mean, was she even real? Or was she some fabrication? Huh. You know, games this kind of cool don't come... Um, oh, I see. That just puts that thing back. Games like this don't come... Uh, come around very often. You've got to really enjoy them when they do. Definitely getting that um, kind of Bioshock kind of feeling all over again, which is really nice. Um, where are we going to the reactor? Where was that? Oh. That's quite cool. There's a bloody power up there that we never even got. Um, God damn it. Get out of this bloody hole. Really want to see the new uh, or the other ending. And we've gone the wrong way because, of course, we have. Oh, man. I'm, I'm kind of like almost spe well I am speechless in a way I'm trying to um, yeah think about what's just happened and quite a bloody lot really if we choose the other um, ending is it significantly different I mean I doubt it those those other people as well they were all operators so I guess I guess they're all dead. But Earth is completely fucked. Um, I hope there's more. Maybe like a DLC pack or a sequel to this game? Hmm. Need to know more. I think that's what it boils down to. Just need more information. Reactor console, let's go. How bizarre. I don't think I've been this, like, kind of um, shocked, should we say. Not shocked. But, um... This kind of affected, uh, to this degree, by a game... Um, since... Probably, like, Bioshock or something. Yeah, the first Bioshock. So, where do we need to go? We need to go to the reactor, which was life support, I think. Yeah, because that's where the power station and reactor all was. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. And it's interesting that that kind of false ending that you get given um, being able to quit. That's really interesting, thinking that you're not actually human. You're you're playing as something else. So like, that seems like a really kind of illogical decision for a human to make. But when you start thinking about the fact that you're like an alien entity, hmm, why would it take that choice? 
such a meaningless choice. Hmm. Oh. Um. Well, looks like we've got mimics here. I suppose there's not really any point in grabbing any of this stuff. Are we target rich? Are we target rich? No, nope, we're good. Let's reload. I'm going to make my own way down, I think. What have we got? A weaver. Destroy the weaver. Yeah, I guess I do like this beam gun. It is cool. Look at all this coral. God, it makes it really hard to see down here. Ooh. Okay, so we're kind of blocked. We can only go certain ways. Hmm. And then, of course, we've got the decision to kill them all or not. And it's kind of interesting to kill them all, considering only there's only one human there. Um... Cause I, yeah, because I suppose even though it's killed us, or it killed Morgan and everybody else, they're all still alive technically inside the the mass or the coral, I guess, because um, everybody's psyche just goes into it, almost like a storage of minds. Which is why he was trying to kind of bring Morgan out, I guess. Trying to program that one. Yeah. Um. Well, that sucks. Okay, how do we get back in there? Think brain, think... I like the way we zap this and it just retracts. Kind of strange. So we need to get into there. How do we get in there? Oh, okay. That kind of makes sense. Hello, nice to see you. Thank you. Do you want to do me up? Cheers, boss. Yeah, so kind of using that phantom as a vessel for uh, Morgan's mind, almost. You can fuck off. Oh, God. Coming in hot, I guess. Oh, shit. Fuck off, you. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Self destruct. Right, use the arming keys in the power plant. Um, where do we use the arming keys? Oh, I see. Okay. Let's get these puppies installed. One in there, one in there. Right. Is that it? Do we all just? You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. They're lying to you. Right. The reactor's primed and capable of delivering close to thirty megatons. Nice. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Yeah, so they're lying to you. Yeah, you're not Morgan. Huh. This game is fascinating. How did we get out of here again? 
I'm sure there was... There we go. Kind of. This will do for now. I mean, those tendrils that are constantly coming after us are more annoying than anything else. Especially as the way this weapon works. The, the kind of warm-up. At least we can reload whilst we're running. This is good. Now, to the bridge. Going up. Fuck off. I like the way it um, mentioned that we didn't use any, like, Typhon implants as well. I mean, what I'm probably going to do is watch on YouTube after this, like, all the different variations, because, ah, yes, it seems like there are a lot of different variations, more than I can uh, do, because some of them uh, take course over the entire game. So I'm definitely going to watch some complete um, synapses, I think. Yeah, man. Ugh. You can do it. Morgan. What? The oh, thing. Whatever the hell you are. Well, shit. Ooh. 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 There we go. What do you think of that? This is traveling in style. Much better. Well, that worked. But yeah, that ending, man. I'm still, I'm just, I'm kind of being quiet at the moment because I'm just constantly thinking. Like, that was so interesting. I'm going to be curious to see if uh, this is going to be radically different. I kind of think it won't be. So we were definitely not Morgan, we were definitely this uh, this Typhon Phantom. But th they seem to have like a hive sort of mind type dealio going on. I assume, because I don't think convincing one is going to be enough otherwise. You're going to have to convince the whole system to, you know, fuck off and leave us alone. But at the same time, isn't all of humanity dead? Like, as if the earth has basically been scorched into nothing, as we saw. Um... I hate to break it, Alex, but I would, if I would be so bold, I would say it's too late. The Earth was certainly lost. But I guess we're about to find out. Those cystoid things are pretty annoying. Right, let's go. At least it is quite fast getting around. Nice. Now this time, do we take his hand or do we kill them all? I think what we do, we save it before we push the button. And uh, then we get both. Hmm. Yeah, we get both. That's if we get the option to kill them all in this particular ending. Yeah, man. Right, let's go to the Arbitorium. One last ride. I assume. I'm thinking that there's probably going to be some kind of timer. So, otherwise, we will get vaporized. I mean, 30 megatons. 
that's uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a pretty big boom. Certainly enough to vaporize this place, and then some. Yeah, fear was never an issue either, because you could use alcohol to migrate the effect of fear, but it, it just it didn't do really do anything. I mean, I think it like impacted your movement, like it said there, for a few seconds, but that was pretty much it. Michael, gravity detected. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, also, we are almost out of time here. So we might have to... I guess, I don't know how long these, these this ending's going to be, so... Might just have a little bit longer video, I suppose. Yep. I'm moving. It's fine. Calm your tits. It's all gravy. Probably. Now, I wonder if we have to just beeline it to the shuttle or if it's all kind of automatic. Or, as I said, does the thing just go boom? When we flick the key. What's the update on our station? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, she's going to meet us in the shuttle bay. Well, what there we go. Am I talking to... Morgan. Morgan? Maybe. I, I see a person who looks like Morgan Hugh. Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, Operator? You've let this machine poison you. I wish you understood. I've bent the course of this entire station around what you wanted. I let you persuade me. And now you're gonna throw it all away? Just stop and think for one goddamn second, Morgan. The safety is off on his firearm. I think you've said enough. Uh-oh. Right, you're gonna Morgan, go to sleep, buddy. Everything is ready. Now that the keys are armed, the order to execute is given from Captain Mark's terminal. I'm not able to execute. That responsibility is yours. Well... Why does he have biohazardous waste on him? Let's not worry about that too much. Right, let's save. And see what happens. I'm sure. Oh god. All the directives you gave me have been completed. Uh, and final topic. Your mind is free of significant typhon neuromods. I believe the risk you pose to Earth is minimal. However, despite my belief, I cannot act against my directives. On the other hand, mean? if I were to suffer irreparable system damage, I would be unable to interfere with your escape. There would be nothing to stop you from departing with your colleagues aboard Dahl's shuttle. I just wanted you to know that. Um. Goodbye, Morgan. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll stay. The blast will annihilate me. Uh, right, well, see you January, we're out of here, let's go, um, I kind of wish we could have taken Alex with us, I don't know if there's a way to save Alex as well, kind of doesn't seem like there would be. Uh, I guess we're just not going to worry about that right now. I mean, Alex wanted to stay here, so Alex can stay here. Come on, baby. Come on. I really just want to know what's happening. I'm so hyped. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, microgravity. We could technically take the... Oh, we couldn't. I was going to say, we could take um, the other shuttle out of here, but we because we didn't take it. Um, 
Right. It's so hard to see what the fuck is going on. All I can see is coral and shit. Yeah, fuck off Please you. One. Yeah, 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 we're evacuating. Kind of. There's the lobby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Full power. There we are. Let's get the fuck out of here. Whew. See, technically, um, if this happens this way, then Alex is going to be dead, I guess. So he's not going to be able... Yeah, the ending, in theory, should be quite a bit different. Maybe? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it life support we need to go to or is it the lobby? We don't have a lot of time. Which is worrying. I'm hoping. Fuck. Can we get. Oh, I guess. Right, well, I guess we've got to go to the lobby. Yeah, 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 we're on it. We're on it, computer. We're on it. Calm down. Okay. So I guess we have to go through the, the lobby. Oh, yeah. Shuttle bay. Like, right here. Kind of obvious, really. When you think about it. Well, I'm stupid. But we all know this, so it's okay. Now, this is going to be interesting. Come on. Come on. Right, let's go. Oh, God. Um, whoa. There's a few of these guys. Well, that's okay. You guys are screwed. A little bit more for you. Get off. You're not stopping me getting on my ride. Sorry, pal. What have we got here? Not much. Okay, let's go. Warning. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Yeah, let's get out of here now. I wonder if we could technically have dragged... Oh, wow. Is that... Is that all that survived? Jeez. Still. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. Agreed. Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. Well, I can't see shit out of my windows. Oh. There we go. Well, that pretty much fried everything. More or less. So, I wonder if this is going to be different. I really like this music, actually. It's really nice. I definitely enjoyed this game. I really did. I'm not sure if we're going to see any more from this universe, though. I'm genuinely not sure. I mean, out of all the Bioshocks and that sort of... I, I would say the Bioshocks, but things like Bioshock and System Shock. Um, 
this definitely felt like its own unique kind of spin. A lot of people said it was a rip-off of those games. Uh, I disagree. I think it's comfortably its own thing. And this looks like it's going to be exactly the same. So, we don't need to see it. Sadly. And I am going to skip the uh, credits in the interest of saving time. Now this is going to be the interesting bit. Yeah. It's finished. Still the same. How did it do? Mostly. Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming. And nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life mm -hmm. depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. And later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use. Except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Dallas One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records, and then... I did not expect this, but it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. It let him go. Was that mercy? Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation so this looks all the same. Was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. Well, this looks like it's exactly the same. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. So where's Morgan then? I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. Well. Let's kill them all. Oh shit. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um well I guess that concludes our playthrough of Prey. Yeah, this episode has been pretty long. Um This was a very interesting game and that ending kind of came out of nowhere. Uh I did not see that. However, I guess it made sense when you try to um, 
when you try to leave in the escape pod and he goes no this is not the one um i i guess instead of meaning this is not the memory he means this is not the typhon and they eject that one and then try another one um yeah interesting stuff interesting stuff Anyway, guys, I'm going to go look up some more stuff about this game. So, thanks for watching. And when we come back, we're, we're going to be playing something new, obviously. Till then, guys. Till then.